Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are fine. I hope you're well and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for connecting with me. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to further connect with me, guys, I invite you to also follow my exclusive channel that I built for the Sagittarius sign. I have already uploaded your love reading, your love message. And um, if you want to check it out, it is in the other, um, in the exclusive channel that I built for you. That is the Sagittarius Ascending. For new viewers, I want you to know that I built an exclusive channel for Sagittarius because I've got a Sagittarius moon. So I really connect with my Sagittarius subscribers, followers, supporters. So I built a Sagittarius exclusive channel. The love reading is uploaded in there in the last eight hours, please. So if you're interested to pick up love message, love reading, there was something that was uploaded there in the last 24 hours, okay? So this reading for today, Sagittarius, it's going to be a collective reading. We will tap into love, career, finance, and general situationship. And also Sagittarius, um, what else I want to say to you? Yeah, so in today's reading, there's two parts of the reading. The first part is that the first, um, okay, sorry guys. The Four of Swords, okay. The first part of the reading is that I'm going to be looking into your energy. And the second part of the reading is that I will be looking into what are the opportunities, people, situation that will be connecting to you in the next 3, 7, 10 days or the remaining days of this month. This is for you, Sagittarius, all right? Please don't forget to click the bell and click subscribe. And can I ask you to report the copycat? Okay, there is an imposter. Please, I ask you to report it so we can take her down. She's using my voice. I don't know why people can be so mean. Just email me. I will teach you how to read tarot, okay? Instead of spreading bad vibe. You know, this is a new deck, so I'm quite excited to use it. And you're my buena mano. You are the first sign, Sagittarius, that I'm going to use this super cute deck okay Sagittarius let's start your reading your first card is you've got the hermit card okay you could be dealing with a Virgo you've got the four of swords you've got the three of swords four and three you know the hermit card it is all about the truth okay and the truth that you feel or the truth that you have in front of you the truth that that honesty you know that honest that truthfulness that you are experiencing or feeling it is um a truthfulness or an information that is real that is happening there is a facts in there and it is also based on wisdom so something tells me um the universe is nudging you to look at something in your life and it's telling you that look this is the truth the truth can set you free it could be a harsh truth or it could be a beautiful truthfulness from a person from a situation it looks like an honest a challenging truth okay and the reason why i'm saying this is because you've got the three of swords and the four of swords in here you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you know, you've got a lot of swords in here, Sagittarius. It means that you're processing information, you know, swords represent information. Let me just fix the, sorry guys, let me just move this because I want you to see me. Okay. Okay. So the universe is telling you, you the truth is within you. The truth is in front of you. The truth is within you. The truth is in the message. The truth is in the email. Something tells me you are ignoring the truth. Four of Swords. Are you? Because wisdom, facts, truthfulness, honesty, it's all in the open. 
there's something that you are blindsided with the four of swords in here okay or something that it's it's already in your face but you don't want to look at it like you keeping it a lot of benefit of the doubt and the outcome is the three of swords which means that you know that this truth will set you free you know that this truth is harsh but it will transform you and yet you don't want to acknowledge it okay there's a three of swords from four to three of swords whatever truth honesty wisdom that fears you know when i say wisdom that fears it's something that you know it's not good for you but yet you keep giving it a chance you keep giving it the benefit of the doubt and as a result you keep disappointing yourself okay something tells me you've got a very important information that you're keeping it within you in the hope that this truth will somehow convert it into an information that is in favor of your manifestation in favor of your heart's desire but somehow with the four of swords and the three of swords it doesn't look like it's aligned to your manifestation or your desire okay something tells me the universe is giving you a not so good information but that's the truth sometimes the honesty the truthfulness of the person the situation or whatever you are wherever you are right now that's not what we hear but that's the truth okay your reading is about i don't want to hear that sunshine please it's it's you know it's not a it's like my dark uh night you know that um you know that reading that i've done in the ascending channel the dark night of your soul sometimes you know we don't want to acknowledge something that is happening in our life and it's 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 that is the key you know that's a key to transformation sometimes okay i don't want to hear that sunshine i don't want to i don't want to hear bad news okay fine i can save you from that but you cannot disconnect from the universe and not allow the universe to nudge you the truth and this truth that i'm telling you is something a bit something that will give a pinch in your heart okay you know i'm a very honest and blunt reader okay i cannot lie something tells me the universe giving you a lot of nudges the universe has given you a lot of information details that this is the truth sagittarius you've come to a point you know the universe don't let this come into a tower you know have you experienced that because you are ignoring red flags and that red flags is the truth about that person the truth about that situation the truth about that energy and yet i'm ignoring it because i want it to convert into my manifestation to my desire but the, the universe is telling you your desire is not in alignment right now accept the truth release and have another manifestation have another desire because time is our currency time we can never repeat the same day this today there's no other day than today we can never there's no other day than today we can never re repeat the same day we can repeat the same mistake because we don't want to acknowledge the truth you know and this is it look at that the heart the hermit and you've got the four of swords in here something tells me you're keeping in or believing something that is not truthful or in alignment of your journey you've got the two of ones here my darling sagittarius you hold the details you hold your world with you if there is something that you're doing if there's something that you're agreeing and it's not making you happy if it doesn't feel good then you're creating a hurt to yourself like you know it's it's if i was your friend okay sagis if i was your friend and you're if i was your friend and you're gonna come to me and tell me hey sunshine you know what this and this and this and that why are you keeping it you are producing your three of swords you know most especially if this has been like three three months four months it hurts you it doesn't feel good you know do not let the universe give you a tower there's a page of swords is a page of wands this is a good news this is a good news that you now know 
that what is hurting you is because that is the red flag that is the truth that you're not acknowledging you're not somehow acknowledging that what you're thinking what you're manifesting is actually not the truth it's not in alignment with the truth okay there's a lot of like the the reading is all about being through to yourself through to your core whatever you want it's not in alignment to be with you right now you know whatever you want is a 10 a perfect 10 and whatever you want is a perfect 10 whatever you want is a perfect 10 and that's not the truth about the person the person that you want the situation that you want will not give you the perfect 10 if it will only give you a one a two a three but it won't give you the ten something tells me you got to release it something that you need to release it it is connected to a relationship the first reading is connected to a relationship this is a situation specific if you're dealing with someone younger than you someone overseas long distance and also for some of you this is around october or 10 weeks ago the truth is they're not with you because they don't want to join you in this next cycle they're not with you they're not part of you right now because the truth is they're not part of your cycle it's more of a reading where the universe ask the universe is asking you we just had a new moon release it so we can give you more yep yeah making more time making more offers we we when I, we, we want to give you more okay now the second part of the reading is that okay you've got the five of cups in here i'm ready to deal with my losses look at that <laughs> look at that guys look at that it says here i'm ready to deal with my losses and regrets and move on with my life whatever you're keeping in it won't really bring you to your highest growth sagittarius now if you deal with your losses as something that I've learned the lesson sunshine it's fine no regrets I've learned the lesson the five of cups let's see look at that ten of cups look whatever it is that you're dealing in the last two weeks and it's connected to relationship release it release it the reason why I'm, I'm telling you to release it is because um, you've got this strength card in here you've got everything on your own right now okay everything i need is within me you've got everything that you need right now and that person or that situation will only delay you it looks like love it is it it feels like it's love or it's a person that does not pay attention with you okay the one that i pick up that honestly you know you're romanticizing it but it's uh, if you look at it the truth is they're not just into you so you've got to release it you know because if you don't you wouldn't get the return of investment and it's going to create a block with you and i'm telling you guys you know up until june 21 you are in such a powerful energy to tap into your greatest you know go, like greatest achievement in here it means that you're very goal oriented in the next three to four weeks everything you need is within you you don't need that person right now okay i'm telling you i release you knight of cups look at the knight of cups it's sad yeah it's sad i ask you if you think of this person and it's if i ask you guys if i ask you right now if you think of that person in that situation does it feel good basic question does it feel good it doesn't if it doesn't feel good release it you got everything that you need right now okay everything you need right now is within you you've got the strength card you've got the strength of a lion yeah look at that another five cups don't worry guys you're going to be able to move on you just really have to embrace the truth and the truth is they're not with you right now yeah the queen of cups the king of wands the person that you desire it feels like romantic they're very thinking they're very in they're very selfish whoever this person is they're quite selfish they still like you they have feelings for you but they kept the ace of wands look at that they're keeping the ace of wands okay they're acting selfish right now this person the one if you keep the reason why i'm picking up this energy sagittarius is that if you keep 
believing that this is the truth is that they'll come around if they haven't reached out in the last 10 days 10 weeks then release it you know the next card is the sun from the strength card you've got the sun i deserve happiness and share my joy and gratitude wherever i go this reading is meant to release you from something from somebody has been from something from someone that has been bothering you for the last two weeks release your energy because the universe is going to take you into something great into something more exciting in in truthful you know it's something truthful something in alignment of that okay let's look at the sun card you've got some good news and it's not connected to love right now it's not connected to love at least in the next three to seven days um um that love interest is quite weak okay let's look at career finance and general situationship okay six of pentacles you need to catch up with family you know for some of you catch up with family catch up with friends it's gonna boost your happiness vibe okay you get the four of wands um there is a couple okay you know there is a couple or it feels like this is this two person um their power couple you know it doesn't necessarily mean that they're together but they're well known like they're well known to be like work wife and um work wife and husband wife you know that you know that you know that um in a, in a business in a company there's always this male and female tandem that they're called like a powerful couple a male and a female okay so i want you to watch i want you to really observe because the next three seven four days from now four days from now there is a power couple i don't think this is a power couple that's connected to you personally um it's a metaphor it's a power couple it's a power couple because it's a male and a female they're talking right now and it's connected to business it's connected to professional it's connected to an interview it's connected to money um, expansion they're thinking of you Sagittarius and they want to interview you they want to touch base with you you're being you're being considered um, to team up to work or to something higher position or they would like to hire you it's a power couple because it's a male and a female and it's connected in a big organization okay in a company in a business um, they are people that can decide to the future of your business the future of your role the future of a job with them okay for some of you it could be like if you're gonna attend an interview in the next three for seven days um if it's a male and a female they will like you okay so there's a power couple that is thinking of you or you will meet this power couple like a male and a female the reason why i'm kind of picking up the word power couple because they will couple together and they will bond and they will talk about you and they will really really like you so they will form an they will form an agreement to take you to hire you to give you a position to delegate something higher position to you more responsibility something like that but in short whoever this power couple a male and a female they will bring abundance in your life okay not just money but learnings okay now the last part of the reading i feel like the last part of the reading this is you know from end of may moving towards um the month of june you've got the high priestess okay you get the high priestess once you work on releasing and accepting the truth it doesn't work that's the truth it doesn't work i've got to release you because sunshine is telling me to look into my wellness my mindfulness to look at my money to look at my career any person any situation that is not making you feel good release it right now because you've got some great frequency you've got some great opportunities around you in money 
okay and there's a this window opportunity it's gonna happen in like a good two to three weeks from now so let's prepare you with that Sagittarius okay I need to really inspire you there's like a breakthrough coming to you if you just focus on the opportunities that will represent to you and not only that but if you are aggressive and proactive because you've got the high priestess if you look at the high priestess she's opening the book she's not just you know she's not just she's very proactive she's reading the book intensely learning it wanting it absorbing the knowledge so that is you right now in terms of career money learnings you're like a sponge you read it you watch it you get to morph in that skills or you get to understand it right away and if you're so expert like you're so easy to morph you're like a sponge of knowledge right now there's that extremity with how good you are when it comes to learning presenting you know most especially with work business innovation i'm getting that a lot with the high priestess okay sometimes you know our life uh the universe will sometimes you know the you know it's like a it's like the moon sometimes our life path is so good in career or so good in friends and sometimes we're so good in love this is a cycle of your life where you're so so lucky and auspicious with money money career self-development most especially when it comes to wellness you know for some of you i'm seeing you guys transform yourself into 360 degree of physical aesthetic i'm seeing you that okay you've got the knight of cups you see eventually love will follow you right now in the next two weeks focus on money focus on game changing way of being healthy mindfulness practice a lot of self-love self-care to boost your confidence because opportunities will be knocking left and right into your life i tell you because while you keep yourself busy with hustling career money and building your next goal your next empire empire love will follow you for those who are singles and love will follow you you got here you know the knight of cups and the five of swords they will eventually come back to you the five of swords so this is the person that you were chasing this is the person situation that you were chasing in the last 10 months 10 weeks 10 days drop them off right now focus on career self-love you know um self-development higher tap into higher self-growth right now at least two weeks because this will switch your mind from giving that energy to that person that's not responsive that's not supportive or responsive of you eventually they'll come around with a knight of cups and a five of swords then you know how to deal with them because you know okay i'll tell you something you know that um i know it's kind of cheesy or it's like a, an over rated kind of way of hearing you know practice self-love self-care get to know yourself that is truth that is the truth there is a factual research scientifically proven um scientifically proven that if you are single take time to get to know yourself while the right person comes to you or while that past person comes to you and now they offer you with the right frequency take time get to know yourself and the reason why i'm saying that is the more you get to know yourself the more you can really respond in the highest truth so you can set boundaries you can even change them because your your frequency is high so this person will return at the end of this month the first week of june but you can manage them now because you're high frequency so good luck i hope you will be able to really set it straightforward to what they want because they still want you but they still have a five of swords yeah nine of wands you can deal with this person later on i see you dealing with them the star card yeah the tower card you will initiate a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person finally you will be able to initiate a conversation with this person where what is exactly do you want 
you ghosted me you're inconsistent with me and yet you're here as much as i like you or i have feelings for you if you cannot be consistent if you cannot be honest respectfully i would suggest you just carry on and move on in with your life but i because i want someone who is like me they will be shocked because you just put them in a place where they've got to think because you're different now so see that's how that will happen if you do a lot of self-love and self-care i hope this reading inspires you thank you so much guys for connecting with me i will see you soon again guys and you have an amazing day bye bye